This is it. We're in an amazing garage, and this could be anywhere. Monaco, this could be the south of France, this could be in London. It's not. This is in South Africa, and I'm with a man that's making waves all over the place. Serial entrepreneur, petrol head, and owner of Play.co.za, JP van der Spey. How are you, bud? How are you? Look at, listen, I don't know where to begin. This is a petrol head's dream. Walking into the space, left, right, what a collection, each piece a masterpiece in its own right. Let's talk about the beginning. Where did it all begin in terms of motoring for you? Well, um, to be honest with you, I was never into cars. Oh, really? Yeah, I got into cars a few years back, and when I had the opportunity to buy a car, this was actually the first one I bought. Okay. Um, this is the, the GTR. The GTR, yeah. This is amazing. Now, tell me what about this car, besides knowing all the numbers and facts, because it's not always about the numbers and facts, no. what was the appeal of this car to you? Well, it's a, it's a fantastic road car. Um, it's also at the price that you are buying it. Sure. It's yeah. an incredible car. Yeah. Um, it's great for track. I took it out on the track on the Daytona Rally. It was an incredible journey with it. Um, but it's, you know, it's probably one of the best uh, Mercedes out there at the moment, so. Did you know it would become as collectible as, the, as it has become? Because now they're very hard to find. They are very hard to find. It was hard to find in the beginning, even, yes. but uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now there's, it's quite hard to get these and your hands on them. And since you've built the collection, does it still get a lot of time on the road? You still go out with it, oh, with, with it quite a oh, bit? Oh, definitely, definitely. A lot of road time? It gets a lot of, uh, turns a lot of heads. I think what people don't understand, and we were chatting about this earlier when you got out the car, is how long this nose is. I mean, uh, when you're driving, you don't see it at all. Mercedes have done such a great job with this vehicle in terms of hiding this nose. When you're driving it, there's no nose almost. It almost just dips away completely and you've got the road. Uh, but you very quickly realize as the owner of this vehicle, that you have limitations in it, terms of it where you're It took a little getting used to in the yeah. beginning. I remember Absolutely. just having a very wide front front uh, engine part, but um, what a great car. I mean, I love it. And you've wrapped it, by the way, previously in some amazing wraps that have yeah. just made this car. And it's a great car to wrap because yeah. it's just the dimensions of the car are incredible. From Mercedes-Benz, and, and then you've, you've got this business is doing well, you're traveling, you're, you're engaging with global audiences on the platforms that you've created, yeah. and you know, you're doing well, you're successful, and you're going, okay, well, the bug is bitten. You've had the taste of raw V8 power, okay? And what clicks next? What do you go, Ferrari? Ferrari, yeah. And not just so, any Ferrari? No, not. Um, even though you've got the F8 Tributo over here, oh. the one that was always in my eye, <laughs> and I know you're excited about this one, <laughs> is the 458 Speciale. I mean, this is um, the last naturally aspirated Ferrari that Ferrari has made. Um, it's, it's an incredible car, which you, you don't lose anything on, on the road and you make up quite a lot on the track. Um, I've driven the, the uh, Pista. Ferrari, yeah, the Italia actually. Yeah. Um, okay. Driven it on the track. Yeah. This one, yeah, no. beats it hands down. Yeah. Listen, your, your, let, me, let me tell you, this yeah. car is probably one of the most collectible Carra uh, Ferraris. The end of, end of conversation. To your point, last of the V8s that were naturally uh, aspirated, this vehicle is only soaring in prices globally. Yeah. And what a hell of a nice sound she makes. It's oh. So, bugs bitten with Ferrari. Yeah. Where do we go to next from the four, uh, well, from the, from the Speciale? Well, it was actually the, the FA Tributo was on order, um, but in the time that I was waiting on this one, um, I picked up the 488 Spider. This was one that uh, um, the, the guys at Ferrari convinced oh. me to buy. In, I, I wasn't quite sold on it initially. Um, yeah. You know, I, I got so used to the, the sound of the engine of the naturally aspirated yeah, engine of Ferrari. Yeah, the Speciale just doesn't yeah. beat it. Yeah. Um, so to switch over to a, to a, to a, to a turbo yeah. was kind of a bit of a change, but the actual 488 Spyder was an incredible, incredible <laughs> car. At about 30 kilometers an hour, the turbo kicks in and it's one of the best sounds ever. Such a great all-rounder Ferrari. I want to wrap the Ferrari conversation up because what happened next was the Tributo arrived. And this for me also is, it's just, I mean, they get the, the styling of these cars, they get it so right. You'll notice that there's a kind of a transition from the, 4, 8, uh, the, the 458, 488, and then across to the Tributo. There's lines that are very similar, yet very different, yeah. especially around the Tributo. Now, I've never seen you drive this car. It's always somebody else driving it. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about when this arrived. Well, let me be honest about the driving part. Um, it's, one, it's a great car to drive. One yeah. of the best road cars you'll find. Um, in fact, I was very surprised to take it around the track. I did heat up the tires quite a bit. Um, 
It, it, it surprised me on, on track at Kalani how well this thing drives and how well you stick into turns. Um, I generally don't drive this one all the time because I have a 458 speciality to pick from. Absolutely. And uh, it's like one of those shirts that you have in your cupboard and you've always got Favorite. a better one and you never end up wearing it. Yes, I love this mix of cars. You've got something for every taste in terms of what a petrol head looks for. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna say, well, you've gotta have an SUV in a collection. It doesn't matter what SUV it is, but you've chosen one yeah. that for me is the most, one of the most understated vehicles. Pe people that know, they know, right? They know, they look at it and go, Man, that's awesome. Why? Well, it's the same platform that's, that the world's fastest SUV is kind of a based on. And that is, of course, the Audi RS Q8. That's right, Ryan. The, the main thing about the RS Q8 that a lot of people wouldn't even realize is that it has the exact same engine as a Lamborghini Urus. Spot on. And uh, the Porsche uh, Cayenne yeah, yeah. Turbo. Yeah, absolutely. The turbo so it's, it's probably, it has the fastest SUV in the world. It's got the same slick standards and the same pedigree that it comes with. Um, it does eat up the road. I love a car that from the front looks yeah. like it's about to chow up the tar. Um, it has that feel to it and it's just a great all driving car. It's probably one of the most comfortable cars I've sat in in terms of driving mm. yeah. um, anyway. So long roads, this is the, probably oh. one of the best cars. Uh, Audi really, really did a great job with this. It's, uh, you know, it's a, in a different standard. It's, it's an all rounder. Great I love the, the color road. that you've chosen on it. It really is incredible. Yeah. And then from that, and we go across to again, uh, a marquee that we've seen grow in South Africa, globally as well. And I know that this isn't the only McLaren you own, because you and I have had a conversation about my favorite McLaren. 675 LT. LT, 100%. <laughs> that you right. owned. Yes. And you've gone to the 720. Look, it's a different beast. This is a totally different animal. It is. But just tell everybody, that's six, that 675 LT as an owner of that. How special was that car? It's an incredible car. Um, the 675 LT, I will say, is, is a, it's a hard car. Yes. It's a very hard driving yeah. car. Yeah. Um, I sometimes do like to balance it off with some comfort. Um, also, I had only the racing seats within the car. Ah, um, okay. And unfortunately, I've got a rugby player's Play body, <laughs> so it was a little... Very uncomfortable, it was in, those, uncomfortable in those bucket to get seats. get out. And, I, and I've always felt that if you're going to have a car where the side doors are going to be lifting out, you yes. shouldn't look like you're struggling getting out. Absolutely. But the 720, the 720S is, is a great trade-off. This um, is an all-rounder's all dream. All-rounder. It's fast. Um, it's super fast. And it's, it's, more importantly, very comfortable to yeah. drive. So, um, you know, I, I, I felt almost compelled to drive fast in the 675 LT, right. which uh, on the roads is not a great not thing great. necessarily yeah. if you own sports cars. Absolutely. So, so this is definitely one of the best trade-offs uh, um, in terms of McLaren that I've done. So I can't think of a better color option than the colors that you've got on this. Uh, yeah. Matching uh, calipers, matching uh, lining in the seats, matching um, uh, seat restraints. Everything about this car is just fun. It looks cool. Yes. It's not over the top. It's just styled in, a, in, 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 in this specific color just to kind of have that little pop. It's like, it's it like a very nice a tailored suit that you, that you wear in summer that just kind of speaks, well, listen, I, uh, I've got taste, but I've also got fun. And that combination, well, that's exactly what you've got in this, in this McLaren over here. Then we move away from, we stay within the English pedigree, but we move away from McLaren onto another great English brand. This English brand is known now uh, throughout the world. They're now part of the Formula One setup. More importantly, they also supply the vehicles that are required to be out on the track for safety. I'm talking about Aston Martin. And you've got the pick of the two best Aston Martins that are currently available. Both of them amazingly styled. The one being the Vantage, the other one being the DBS Superleggero. Uh, which one came first? Where do we start? <laughs> the the Superleggero DBS came first. Um, it is, if anybody asks me which are your favorite cars, I generally refer straight to the Superleggero DBS and the 458 Speciale. Got you. Reason being is because this is the GT, it's a sedan. Yeah. It doesn't match up to the flat cars in terms of Lamborghini and Ferrari. Um, so it competes in your GT section, it competes yes. in your sedan section. And I, you know, it's one of those cars where at a certain angle, oh. um, it's probably one of the nicer looking cars that you will yeah. ever see on the road. Absolutely. I actually, I've always been of the opinion that if I do see a better car than this on the road, I'll buy that right. one too. But yeah. this one is just incredible. Um, it's probably one of my favorite cars. It's got a diamond dust super overlay. It's got it's full oh. carbon. Um, and the inside is just incredible. I mean, no, I would, this is a proper work yeah. of art. I mean, there's no, there's no English marquee out there that does it better than Aston Martin do their cars. I can tell you that much. And this, this over here, the pinnacle. If you, if you're a massive Aston Martin fan and you loved like, like a one-off production run, like the one seven sevens that we never got to see again, they came and they like, poof, disappeared to the marketplace. All those lines, all those styling cues from the folks at the Aston Martin factory. 
they will lay spot on. The DNA is thick in this one. No, Hop the across to this one, the Vantage, aggressive front. I mean, I just love the wrap on this. I love the safety car wrap. This must turn heads in, in, on the road. I mean, everybody's gonna look at going, the safety cars out? Where are the Formula One cars? Well, uh, not for the non-Formula One lovers, but oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, they would just think it's an ugly green. Um, <laughs> for someone who does love cars, uh, the, the original Aston Martin green color is the best. Spot on. You know, it has to be Spot like this. On. Also, Aston Martin doesn't produce a lot of cars that is in the Aston Martin green. Absolutely. Um, so the, the Vantage that came, there was only two that came into the country. Um, the Formula One edition Vantage. Uh, this is the original supercar, uh, the original the safety car. Yes. So um, it, it's, it's not the best performing car. I will say that. Um, it's not the best performing car, but it is an incredible comfortable car to drive. Yes. The, the stitching in the inside, the comfortness of, of, of the driver's deck, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have the best sound either, but yeah. it, it's really a very comfortable car to drive and it does turn heads. What you're losing on maybe say performance, you're making up an absolute feel and touch on the road. So. I love it. And again, to your point, you, you're not going to see many of these on the road. Um, no. from, from cars to lifestyle, it is all about a man who's built a business and an empire from the ground up. A part of that now is uh, play.co.za. And again, it's, it's, it's the using this man's a, a kind of a, a, a scope towards where he sees the future of that online platform and that online place to kind of a safely do transacting around uh, big events. Yeah, so uh, we recently launched Play.coza, yeah. um, as you know, and then uh, we've we come from a background of payments. Sure. It's given us a good view of what the industry is like, who does what, who's yeah. doing well in the industry, and uh, you know, giving all that information you get from running a payments company for yes. six, seven years, um, we we got a very good idea of which industries we want to focus on going, yeah. you know, post our acquisition of Callpay. Nice. So um, since uh, since we sold Callpay, we've launched uh, um, Play.coza. Yeah. And it's it's one of the newer, we've got a very new market approach to things. Um, play at loyalty is one of the main things we are focusing yeah. on. We really want to embed the brand into people's way of, the, the way they see our brand out there and have, exactly. have give it a bit of a fun style. We want to get away from the old school Horse racing, absolutely. With a bookie. I love it. Now, South Africans, we all know because we love SA Rugby Mag, we love SA Cricket Mag, we love, we are sport mad in South Africa. Well, now you know the online platform of choice. Get to play.co.za. Uh, JP, thanks for this tour of this garage. I can promise you that 2023 is going to be bigger and better. I've been listening quietly in the background to a little bird that's been telling me about what's on its way in 2023. We will have a follow-up story exclusive to CarMag as to what will be hot in JP's garage <laughs> in 2023. I know your brain's overthinking about a whole lot Don't of- give anything away. I'm not giving anything away. Mm. You will get it exclusive first and only to CarMag. Give us a like, give us the thumbs up, subscribe, tell all your friends, and importantly, go and buy the edition. It's on sale. Get your hands on the car magazine featured in that car magazine. Well all these beauties behind me. What's not to love about it? JP, thanks for your time. Ryan, thank you so much.